campaign prepares an amazing table. But multiplayer is your meal. I could eat it every damn day. Forever. It's like sitting around on the couch with seven of your buddies playing Halo multiplayer, trash talking. Two men enter, the better man leaves. The lesser man is respawning, and that's Halo. The beta. It's super important to have these like big ticket like milestones that sort of force a bunch of wishy-washy designers to get their shit together. So for the multiplayer team, it is absolutely a test of all the stuff we've been doing. Destination. I'm really terrified about what people are going to say. The public beta is where it all comes together. Beat the shit out of our code, come break our cookie system, come try to like, it's a great security test. Maybe they're going to find new glitches that we can fix. I, that's why I'm like, please, please, find new glitches, find new glitches. We made a bunch of changes in Reach that are, that are pretty significant. For multiplayer, especially, uh, there's a lot of people who are super passionate about the features that we put into it. The DMR is absolutely uh, an awesome, worthy successor to the, to the battle rifle. You kind of get control over how accurate your shot is going to be. If you're spamming that trigger as fast as you can fire it, it's going to go kind of wild. If you're trying to like hit a guy really, really far away, then you have to slow that down. Everyone's totally destroying with the DMR. It's like everyone's got a Death Star in their hands. I usually go back to the Needler. That's one that, I always, that always makes me happy. Everyone's always wanted the Needler to be sweet because it's hilarious and fun. And it gets too sweet or all of a sudden like something gets fixed and it's like, oh, tracking's fixed now and you're like, guys just burst. It's been fun to kind of, to go back and kind of re-envision some of the old friends. Like the sniper rifle. <laughs> like I pick up the sniper rifle and I'm like, this is it. It's totally happening. And I'm about to rain death on the plebeians that I work with. Overkill. And I'm like, yep, it's back. The Covenant focus rifle is awesome because it's like that sentinel beam from Halo 2. But now it's a sniper weapon. When the pistol started to come back, it was, it was insane. It was so awesome. I'm super excited to see uh, what people do with armor abilities. It totally changes the game. You've got this secret weapon in your back pocket that's your fourth leg of fun. What do you want to be? Invisible? Do you want to fly? Do you want to turn to stone? With Reach, you've got guys in jetpacks flying around, visibility guys just showing up. It's kind of a give and take between us and Sage and Josh trying to figure out like what's that perfect balance with all the new stuff. There, there's a lot of that that goes on. They're like, shh, shh, don't tell Sage he'll nerf it. You're juggling f***ing plates, right? You're just sitting there spinning the plates and occasionally once you're sitting, you're like, ah, and you're like, make Invis more powerful. And everyone's like, no, I'm picking Invis. And you're like, okay, make it less powerful. And I don't know if everyone like, I mean, that's what Sage and those guys are doing. It's a fucking huge challenge. We don't ever want to create one super weapon that works in all cases um, because that tends to make the game fairly dull. It's really up to the player to decide how do they want to play on a particular map. It's a choice. Double kill. That's, I think, Halo at, at its best is like making these choices. You start the game and immediately you get to choose a loadout. You're making a single selection that includes your armor ability and your weapon. We sort of pair those intentionally. It breeds this smarter combat. You'll definitely notice a big difference in how the game functions. Right now, at this exact moment in development, armor lock's insane. It's super powerful. I love it. It is just fucking fun. There are two Slayer maps. There's Powerhouse, which is an asymmetrical map. Lots of indoor, outdoor action. Sword Base is a very vertical map. Moving around sword base is a completely different scenario when you've got a jetpack versus when you're sprinting. This time around we decided to integrate all of the multiplayer maps within the campaign. Overlook is another pioneer style base. We're using it for a game type called Generator Defense. That's also a multiple loadout game type. Your loadouts are actually far more varied than say in Slayer. Boneyard is our largest map we've ever done in multiplayer. It's definitely the most complicated multiplayer space we've ever tried, and it's also a new game type. Invasion is this big team battle. We sort of sit down and said, let's try to make an objective game that has elements like Slayer and try to make that more fun. And we wanted a big, huge, lots of guys and all these fictional elements. We've added a couple new objective game types, Headhunter, Stockpile. Headhunter. It's so much fun, like seeing a dude pick up 
skulls and then you cap him and seeing skulls fly out of his body and then the mad dash to pick those things up. And there's a lot of tension as you're amassing skulls. It's the risk reward of gathering up a lot and, and banking all at once or just doing it one at a time and not being a big target. Headhunter. Stockpile is a team game based on capture the flag. Two teams each have their collection zone or stockpile. There are multiple flags on the map and your goal is to grab a flag, take it to your goal. It's a game of capturing defense. We have what we call the party games. We have race, we have oddball, we have king of the hill, but like, Slayer's the thing you keep coming back to. Like for me, Slayer is the game. Slayer is multiplayer. The arena is a really awesome evolution for people who want to play really hardcore competitive multiplayer. Let's just acknowledge that Slayer's awesome and try to build that space where we can sort of say, like, if you're hyper-competitive, care about stats, let's make that for you. Bam, games, 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 push. Rating, push. Division. The better you play, you'll eventually be put into a division. The arena divisions are broken up into onyx gold, silver, and steel. You can say, oh yeah, I was gold, you know, and like that means something, and I'm like, oh yeah, like, that's cool, you're basically a triple-A baseball player. And I'm like, I'm onyx. Like, you just met f***ing Roger Clemens. Our matchmaking system is really good at matching people up based on skill. What it has never been really good at before is saying, well, how much fun will these two people have playing together? I'll sing. Some of it's obnoxious. I'll get muted. Why can't I tell the system, dude, find me other people who love playing, like, a team player? Instead of just trying to put eight people in a game together, we first use the social preferences for finding teammates. And then we can say, find four other people who are really good skill match. Without players thinking about it, we hope that it'll lead to better social encounters. Active roster essentially is us bringing the Y menu back from Halo 2. It's a way of saying, friends are online and this is what they're doing, so I can hook up with them with a minimum of fuss. Everything that you see in the game, there's a path to getting. We can make this game about you. I really wanted to make sure that players were able to invest themselves in the Spartans that they create and then be able to carry that Spartan back and forth between campaign and multiplayer seamlessly without them feeling like it's two different experiences. Start at zero, nothing. Invest, play the game, no freebies. You're beta testing, have a t-shirt. Little avatar t-shirt, I'll be wearing one. The fans should never assume what you see in the beta is set in stone. What's working about Powerhouse? The jetpack is practically crying out for abuse. Is Rocket Spawn open? Is that good? In the end, it's all about the game, and the game is king. There's that magical step in the process, and like, it stops being software, and all of a sudden it's more like this thing. I'm playing with my friends having a beer. It's awesome. <laughs>